Hey guys and welcome to another unboxing and quick overview and today I have here with me uh, the Asus Z87 Expert motherboard and I'll be using this motherboard for my upgrade on my video editing rig I'll make a video at the end of the all overviews um, why did I choose um, some parts and some components for my next build uh, and with no further ado, let's unbox this and see some of the features. I'm not going to talk about all the features on the motherboard, um, but I will be talking about some of the features that lead me to choose this motherboard. And with no further ado, let's take the motherboard out of the box. Okay. And let's see what comes inside the box. So first of all, two I think it's two, yeah, two, two times two um, SATA cables, whether you are connecting uh, SSDs or hard drives or a mix of them, which is my, my case, uh, you have um, inside the case four SATA cables. And then you find as well one SLI uh, cable that you can use to um, SLI two. Uh, NVIDIA graphics cards. I'm only going to use one so this is not necessary for me but it's uh, uh, a good option to have it included in the motherboard. As always a IO shield for uh, the back of your case so you can have all the back um, covered and then a quick connectivity for the uh, for the connection of the power LED uh, power switch button, uh, reset button and so on and then you also have a antenna with uh, Bluetooth connectivity and Wi-Fi connectivity which will hook up on the back of uh, the motherboard so well, a good option I will have to test it to see how good it is let's see what else a big user guide with plenty of pages to read if you don't have nothing uh, to do in some spare time that you have uh, it might be good to see some features that these new motherboards have I will sure uh, take a look at it I don't promise to read all of it but um, I will take a look and then as always a CD with drivers and utilities that um, that will be used to install some uh, some drivers and features and that <laughs> and then more user guides a quick user guide and then a another quick user guide so and then yet another one with exclusive features uh, user guide for dual intelligent processors for Wi-Fi Go card and Wi-Fi Go so I suspect that this one will only refer to what's in, in, in the cover here and the big one and all the other ones so a lot of paper for that <laughs> motherboard will cover all the rest okay so that's what's inside the box as um, accessories which I'm going to put on the sides and let's go to our motherboard Okay, before I touch the motherboard, I'm going to touch a grounded piece of metal that I have here be behind my desk. And if you don't have, um, I, I don't use a bracelet, uh, but if you don't have that bracelet, don't worry, just touch anything that is grounded, uh, a metal piece of course, and uh, you'll be fine to touch any electrical components. If you don't do that, you will risk uh, damaging anything. It will be a matter of luck and... Uh, don't really appreciate um, or I don't really like to uh, bet on luck prefer to be safe than be sorry okay so I would like to share with you guys let me put this on frame right over here something like that uh, why did I choose this particular motherboard um, first of all Asus uh, I've been using Asus for a long time and until now no uh, negative points. I'm jumping from the first generation of uh, i7 processors and to the fourth generation of i7 processors 
for my video editing build and as I said before I don't want to diverge the, the, this subject here I will place a video uh, explaining why did I choose this and why did I choose that and so on and so on uh, like the two uh, 2011 socket 2011 socket why didn't I choose that one uh, but that's that's another video so connectivity that's uh, what led me to choose this motherboard uh, one main factor is a Thunderbolt connection which uh, doesn't um, it's not included in all the motherboards that I researched and uh, we have in the Asus consumer grade motherboards starting there are some below but starting on the the plus and then you have the pro and then you have the expert which is this one and then you have the deluxe and now there's a new one which is not available on my country yet which is the deluxe duo uh, and that one i suspect that brings um, dual thunderbolt dual thunderbolt connections this one only brings one and it's enough for me uh, this thunderbolt connection will allow me to daisy chain up to six devices uh, and even that will be an overkill for me um, I will be expecting to use only one fast hard drive um, connected to the Thunderbolt and it has a data transfer of 10 gigabytes per second each way so you can daisy chain six um, devices sorry six devices and if you use a display like uh, Apple cinema display which is a very expensive display but uh, great a great looking display uh, you can hook up for say five uh, hard drives uh, with Thunderbolt connection and then uh, the last one being the cinema display it's just an example of the connectivity that this motherboard uh, comes in with and then at the back beside the mini display port you also have a PS um, connectivity for keyboards or, um, or mouse and then two uh, 3.0 3.0 sorry uh, USB uh, connections and then we have this SMA connection for the antenna that we saw earlier uh, another two uh, USB 3.0 and then we have HDMI DVI and VGA connection so out of the box if you want to use the IGPU from the uh, from the processor you can display up to three uh, monitors and this is one great advantage uh, I'm not gonna take um, disadvantage from the motherboard because I'm going to use a dedicated graphic card and I will explain why I'm going to use that uh, dedicated graphic card it's not for gaming um, but for you that might um, work without the graphics card this is a great option and you can use triple display monitor as I do on my uh, on my office and um, great <laughs> so moving on gigabyte connection and then two more uh, 3.0 display uh, sorry 3.0 USB connections so a total at the back you have six USB 3.0 and then we have our usual uh, sound connectivity with SPDF uh, digital output and finally the uh, Thunderbolt connection uh, reminding that Thunderbolt is different from mini display port the connectivity is the same the actual cable will be uh, with the same output but uh, mini display port only uh, transfers video signal and Thunderbolt will display will transfer data and uh, video signal so uh, a great option on this on this motherboard <coughs> sorry and then we have of course our four dims for memory which I'll be filling with um, four sticks eight gigabyte eight uh, gigabytes each so 32 gigabytes on this total and we will see if it's an overkill or not in my opinion no and the main software that i'll be using is after effects and after effects can eat as much as you throw it in uh, and then you have three pci uh, that you can hook up um, to three uh, graphics cards one of them being 16 um, 16 times pci express if you use two of them uh, they will be eight times each they will work eight times each so i'm not a gamer so i cannot say uh, how, how how good the scaling will be with two on sli and then if you have uh, three working i suspect that it is i'm not sure what i'm saying now but it's going to be eight times four four 
uh, so I'm not sure if you're a gamer how good this will uh, escalate and um, how advantage it will take from uh, getting three uh, GPUs instead of one more powerful GPU so I'm not sure of that more uh, features here that uh, I'll be using and will be the SATA connections so the SATA connections we will have um, you can connect up to eight devices here uh, out of the box and six of them being integrated in a chipset and two of them on a third-party um, drivers uh, manufacturer and another cool thing that this motherboard features and this is becoming more and more um, used nowadays it's a power button on the motherboard itself so you can um, you can troubleshoot some problems that you might have uh, during boot uh, and also you can uh, go directly to the BIOS if uh, for example you don't have another USB connected um, and you only have this 3 USB 3.0 um, you might want to flash your BIOS and you don't have another connection which is well, you always have a front connection but it's, it's an option integrated and uh, after all uh, that's all what it's about is uh, giving options to uh, to the people that use this kind of motherboards I will not talk about about any more of the features of this motherboard but I would like to uh, point one other before we wrap this up which is the four optimization uh, software that Asus um, brings with all these motherboards since the pro expert do um, pro expert and then the deluxe and deluxe duo which is the four way optimization uh, and for me that I'm not a hardcore um, let's say hardcore overclocking guy I'm not um, I'm tempted to overclock my CPU um, and the CPU is going to be the 40, 4770k um, I'm going to give it a try to see how it works and if it gives me advantages or not having a overclocked CPU so this is it guys if you have any other questions uh, about this this motherboard uh, please drop me a line and I will do as best as I can to answer it I will have to test it to see how it works uh, and to see the features that that um, um, that it has because to be honest it has plenty of features that are probably not been going to be used the ones that I talked about is the ones that in fact um, lead me to to buy this motherboard um, but only with time um, using it I will be able to give more uh, feedback I, I will do so as soon as possible so guys uh, thanks for watching and I hope I could help you with uh, some points about this motherboard here um, technically it's great on the sheet I mean theoretically is is great I'm just anxious to, to try that out and, and see how it works and see how it goes. So thanks for watching. If you did like, please thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, no problem. And make your comment, your opinion, your uh, anything you want to say, basically. Thanks again. My name is Roberto George and bye-bye.